Aloha, everyone. Hope you're having a glorious day. We are going through the book Everyday Theology. What you believe does matter. So let's dive in for week one. In week one, we're discussing scripture, and scripture is authoritative and true. See, God reveals himself through his word. We can trust the Bible is true. God has preserved the Bible miraculously throughout history. For the people of God, the Bible serves as the ultimate deciding truth, the guiding authority in our lives. For teaching, for rebuking, which means to reprimand, for correcting, and for training in righteousness. Righteousness is just the right way to live, God's way to live, not the culture's way to live, or not your self-centered way of living. See, Scripture is alive and active. Scripture is God's breath of life, filling us with holy living, with direction and understanding. It is sharper than any sword able to separate our heart's malicious intent from the body and renew it with the Spirit of God. All Scripture heard and obeyed has fruitfulness, which means tangible evidence of God working in the world. Scripture is forever. So scripture is relevant for all culture and peoples throughout all time. Everything in this world is temporary. It's fleeting, except for God, his, his word, and his people. The truth in God's word gives eternal life. Scripture is worthy of our delight. Meditating on God's word day and night, memorizing scripture so truth is close at hand gives joy instruction is meant for a beautiful relationship with god and others scripture should be approached more like wow i can eat delicious bread if i follow these baking instructions correctly jesus came as the bread here i am get a good taste of life giving bread i fulfilled the instructions so you would know what it is like to live out the law, the instruction manual. Sadly, most see the law as a list of rules not to break. However, the intent is God saying, I made you, I made the world and everything in it. I invented gender, I invented marriage, sex, and family. Here's an instruction manual to protect, to guide, and teach you. You're welcome. That's why the Bible is called basic instructions before leaving earth. How to live like Jesus is not begrudging dutiful compliance. It is to be lived. If you love God, you will keep his commandments. A relationship is not about just hearing the word of God. A relationship comes from doing God's will. If you'd like more resources, please look at the description section on this video. If you would like to read more about what the book was talking about, please pick up this book by Peter J. Williams called Can We Trust the Gospels? Looking forward to discussing week two with you.